Hello everybody, what's going on? It's my sports podcast, my name is Aquan Peterkin, this is my show, Misunderstood. I'm here to talk sports, I'm here to talk about all types of sports, all types of sports. We're going to talk anything, anything with a ball or a racket or even a car, we're going to, we're going to talk about it. And I'm, so this is episode one, and... What a weekend for me to have. If I want to have a first episode of of a sports podcast, this was the weekend to do it. Like, this was the weekend to do it. So much happened this weekend. So much excitement. In, and it, it was it was straight um, theater. Straight theater this weekend. Like like a, like a movie, but multiple movies at and, and one time. And, and they're all good. They're all, you know, everything was good. You know, it's just... Man, where do I start? I mean, I guess I'll start with the NFL. Like, what now, what do I start with? Where do I start in the NFL? Do I start with, do I start with what they call the, <laughs> the Sin City Miracles? Man, that's more like the New England F up. Episode one, don't want to go too far. Not yet. But so I'm going to say the New England Patriots F up. What was that? What was that? Like, what was that? You know, I, I mean, it was so much wrong with that with that final play. You know, so much wrong. Like, they did they did knew it was tied, right? They did knew it was a tied game, did they? I mean, I would hope so. I would hope somebody would let them know, like, hey, tie game. You know, like, like if you got it, cool. If you don't got it, then you don't got it. You know what I mean? And so the the funny thing about that play was. Like, it was a straight panic mode. Yes, it was a straight panic mode. But two people panicked. Two people panicked. In the same sequence, two people panicked. You know what I mean? Nobody had nobody's back. You know what I mean? Like, so, Stevenson, you panicked by, I feel like, I know when when you're doing a lateral pass, you're supposed to, you know, I mean, you have to go backwards. Yes. I feel like he went backwards a little bit too far. I feel like it could have been somebody a little more closer to him. Like when I see people do um, lateral, lateral plays, you know, try to win a game, you know, at the end of the game, they might throw it back like a couple yards, you know, three yards at most, maybe. You know, a lot of times I'll see like two yards. Basically, basically, it's almost like they're right next to each other, but one person is like slightly behind, so they won't get flat. I mean, I felt like he, I feel like he threw it. Do it backwards a little bit too far. You know what I mean? And that was a panic mode. And then, then you, now you got Jacob, now you got Jacoby Myers, who he threw the ball like 10, maybe 15 yards backwards. And I'm just like, yo, y'all going backwards. <laughs> it's like y'all trying to go, that's y'all trying to get a touchback or something. I, I mean, I don't know what y'all was doing. But, you know, then 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 Myers wanna throw it right to Chandler, right to him. I mean, maybe it seemed like he threw it right to him because he's so much bigger than, than than Mac Jones. He's so much taller than Mac Jones. Maybe it seemed maybe it seemed like it, but at the same time, you can't see that. Like you can't. Like I mean, he did say he did, he he didn't see Chandler Jones. He did he did say that. He 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 did admit to that he didn't see him. But I don't know how you saw Mac Jones, who's so much smaller than this man, and you didn't see Chan- you you didn't see Chandler Jones like. I mean, <laughs> like you, you didn't see a shadow over Mac Jones. It's, it's like I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure you saw a shadow over him. And that shadow is a person that's going to catch this ball away from him, put his, put his arm down his throat, and have the slowest run I ever seen for a walk off touchdown. Like that run was so slow, but you can't blame that he's so slow because he's, he's defensive end. He's not. He's not a running back. It's supposed to be slow. But, you know, you're also not supposed to be throwing the ball 15 yards backwards to maybe 
Maybe if he wasn't so far behind, somebody from New England could have caught up to him. But every everybody is already like halfway through the through the more than halfway, you know, through the um the field, and the ball is way behind me. <laughs> like I gotta run like half a field to, to catch Chandler Jones. <laughs> man, oh that game is done, man. That that like that was that was a huge mistake. I'm very happy that the, that both both parties admit to their mistake and they own up to it. That that really shows how big they are to, to own up to it. But but be be a little more bigger and realize we're gonna be talking about this for at least a week. Maybe next week we might slow down talking about it, unless you do something else. But you got at least a week of us talking about this because that was just ridiculous. Like no one ever saw that before. I never saw that before. People in People who played the game never saw that before. It's like, man, that's we're probably never going to see that again. We're probably never going to see that again. And that wasn't even the biggest thing to talk about over this weekend. Week 15 of the NFL was was epic. Straight epic. You know, like, just Jeff Saturday blowing a 33-point lead. You know, <laughs> The Vikings really had, they really score like, 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 they average like two minutes a, 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 a score, basically, to catch up. Like, they had to, they had to, basically, yeah, they had to, they had to, they had to get like five touchdowns in 30 minutes of football. Like, you, we, we see, we see games where you, like, both, both teams don't score five touchdowns combined in a whole game. And this team got to get five touchdowns in 30 minutes of football. Like, oh, my God, this is not possible. This is not possible. Oh, my God, it's possible. Jeff Saturday and his and his coach made it possible. What is up with rest? Well, rest, Ryan, my, my mistake. What is up with Matt Ryan that cannot Cold up leads, and I know what I know what people keep on saying. Well, he don't play defense. It got nothing to do with that. You know, you know why people people always get upset when it, when when they have like a quarterback versus a quarterback. You know why it's quarterback versus a quarterback, and in, in a lot of these situations, because you're so great at being a quarterback that you're gonna put up all these points. So the other quarterback, you gotta you gotta be just as just as great or greater, and you gotta put up points yourself. The defense is there to stop it, but you're so great that you you put up these points. So that's why they say Joe Burrow beat beat Tom Brady because Joe Burrow was able to put up four touchdowns, and Tom Brady was was not at the time that he. He should have. He got that last touchdown in the last moments of the game, but that was the game's already over. You know what I mean? So it's like I'm so great, I'm gonna put up four. You so great, you gonna put up four. Okay, let let the best person win. Let's see who's going. Let's see who's going to out outplay like the defense. Matt Ryan, you can't get one more touchdown. Just like in the Super Bowl, you can't get one more touchdown, or at least get get the ball past the like in field goal range, like so you put up some type of points on on the scorecard, like like why why this why this Viking team is being down your your defense and scoring touchdown to touchdown to touchdown, you're getting the ball back, do something, put do like make some plays happen. Put some put some points on the scorecard for the Colts because the Vikings is on your tail. Can't do it. We can't cannot do it. But I'll tell you I'll tell you this right now. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably hard on Jeff Saturday. I'm not one of those people. I have seen games that Jeff Saturday really could have won or probably should have won. The Vikings game, he should have won. You know. Like the Eagle game could have won. He, he probably should have won that. Then the Colts was in a lot of games where it's like, yo, they're right there. They could win these games. And Jeff Sadler just got there. He just got there. I'm really looking forward to see what happened when you give him a whole year, a whole training camp, a whole like 
everything. Like he's involved with the scouts. He's involved with the trades. He's involved with the draft. You know what I mean? He's there week one, preseason, all that. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking the Colts might, might look kind of good next year. I kind of think of it because just Saturday. But I don't, Matt Ryan, man, you got, you got to go though. You got to go. You got to, you got to go. You know what I mean? You got to go ahead, and it might be time for you to retire. Everybody keep talking about Tom Brady retiring. It might, it might be time for you, Matt Ryan, to retire. And speaking of Tom Brady, man, I mean, the Bucks to me, look like, the Bucks defense looked look like to me that they was about to stick it to Joe Burrow, and then Joe Burrow went Joe Burrow. But Tom Brady is supposed to match up to Joe Burrow. If, if Joe Burrow was putting up four touchdowns, you supposed to put up four touchdowns. Like, I really wish that Tom had, like, a full team. Like, because everything keeps falling on Tom because he's 45 years old. But, but Vaughn, honestly, man, Vaughn, honestly, you put you put any quarterback on this team and they're not going to look so good either. Because there's so many injuries and so many, you know, just, just unfortunate things happening that's making it hard for any quarterback to, to look good. You know what I mean? It's just making it hard. So now you got this 45-year-old quarterback who, who basically needs everything right for him because he's 45 years old. So he needs everything right. He, he can't afford a hiccup. It's not Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott have hiccups almost every week, and he still, like, they still look talk about Dak Prescott, Prescott like, like he's a Super Bowl contender. Now, imagine imagine. Imagine if that Prescott was not even 45. Imagine if he was 38. They'll be like, all right, Dad, it's time for you to retire. It's time for you to go, Dad. It's, it's time. If he was if he was in his late 30s. You know what I mean? Tom Brady cannot afford to have everything, like, wrong that had nothing to do with him. Because everyone's gonna look at him like it's like it's him, but it's not. It's not. It's not him. And I hope he does come back for another year. I hope he do come back for another year. And I hope that the team was able to put nice offensive players around him so we could see what Tom could do. Because well, I because last year Tom Brady was was a, to me an MVP candidate, just like Aaron Rodgers was. Um, well, my Aaron Rodgers won. But so, and this year, a lot of a lot of things is happening to both these great quarterbacks that had nothing to do with the quarterbacks. But we keep looking at them because they're pushing. One's pushing forty, and one is halfway to fifty. And that's the only reason. Only reason why we're looking at them. No man, that's not on them. I give I give Tom a pass on this year. I give Aaron Rodgers a pass on this year. I give Jeff Saturday a pass on on the second half of this year. I want to see all three of these dudes. I want to see them next year. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit personal. Just a little bit, a little bit personal. I was I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. So I was so obviously I was born and raised a New York Giant fan. And I was so happy to see my Giants get that win, but I was, did not like how they got that win. I don't like I I'm not gonna be biased like that. I'm not gonna be, you know, like if if the if the Commanders would would have won that game in the same way that that the Giants won that game, I'll be screaming bloody bloody murder, flipping tables, all upset, all types of stuff. Uh, so I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. That like the ref. Screwed over the um the the player of the, of the commanders. Can't think of his name. I have an idea what his name is, but I don't want to say it and butcher his name. But y'all know y'all y'all know who I'm who I'm talking about. If, if y'all aware of the game, he asked the ref, "Am I good in this spot?" The ref said yes. And then he, then he called um he he threw the flag on the player. So you lied to the player. I don't know you. Maybe you was born in Brooklyn. I don't know, but you lied. You lied. You basically lied to the player. You basically knew he wasn't good, and you you want to make sure he stood right there. You could, if you could have.